Judge, today's case is Three's company. It's hard to stay in a relationship with someone who's living with their ex, but somehow this guy has managed to do it. Let's see if we can't figure out why. Court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Lynn Toller presiding. Good day, ladies and gentlemen. I'm here today with Shanika Pettigrew and Rodney Lovett. The two of you have been together for three years. You do not have any children between you two, but you both have children from previous relationships. Uh, you are here today, Ms. Pettigrew, seeking $520 for bail money and a lost day of work, and we will talk about that momentarily. But before we do, I'm going to start with you, Ms. Pettigrew. Why don't you tell me a little bit about your relationship and why we're here today? Judge, Rodney had the chance to be number one in my life, but he couldn't hold that title, so I had to move on to the next. And the reason why was one time that I had a procedure done and I was, had bed rest. I was right. bed rest. And so I wanted to see him, but I didn't get a chance to see him, so I decided to go to his house. I called him, he didn't answer. But once I got to his driveway, I noticed there was a car outside his house that I wasn't familiar with. Once I got upstairs in his house, I know I opened the door and there was a woman in bed butt naked and he was too asleep. <laughs> Mr. Lovett, did that occur? Yes, ma'am, it did. But first of all, I did go see her after her procedure. Uh, I was then there. you got naked with the <laughs> <laughs> this is before. This is before. This is before. I went to see her before I went to work uh, that Friday morning. I stayed a little while because I had to go to work. She, she got mad because I didn't stay that, stayed long enough. Um, so she blocked my phone for like three days. Ronnie, that's not true. I didn't yes, hang I on, hang on, Miss Pettigrew. She blocked my phone for three days. I, I called her for three days just to check on her because I know she just got out of, uh, uh, out of surgery. So when you, you don't return my, I'm blocked. I just figured like, okay, well, I thought you, you, you done with me. Blocked or not blocked, you know, she just had a procedure. You can't get a hold of her. Did you roll through and just see if she was cool? She wasn't even home. She was at her mom's house. That's where I went to see her. Did you roll through her mom's house to see if she was cold? No, I didn't. <laughs> I did not. I figured once you blocked, you blocked me for no reason, I mean, I was there. Tell me some other things that he's done that made him no longer your number one. But, Judge, before I even go into that, with that same story, once I got upstairs in his room and he was butt naked again with this right. other woman, and I asked him, do you love me? This is how you show me that you love me? And he stood there, butt naked still with her, and said, yes, I love you. But then I asked him, I said, can you escort her out there? I was about to leave, and I turned around. I'm the woman. Why should I leave out of the house? So I asked him to escort her out of the house. He escorted her out of the house. This is in a house that you share with her? No. She's got a key to my place. I don't oh, have a key to hers. Okay. Uh-huh. She has a key. How wise is that to get a, have a woman in there naked when you know your woman that you with got a key? Because he thought because I we were we was not together together like that. We were just friends at the time. Friends with a key? Yes, I gave, I, gave her, I, I gave her a key to my place. I didn't have a key to hers. Uh -huh. So so there's been uh, there's been a time that I went by her place and I seen somebody that she used to deal with. I seen their truck outside of her place at four o'clock in the morning. They wasn't in there. Eating cereal. So, so, <laughs> so there is an ex involved on her part that you think she's been saying. Uh, yes, actually, he, she moved him in. With when her. did that happen? Uh, about two years ago. Ms. Pettigrew, can you explain that one to me? Mr. Lovett is aware that my kid's father did move in, and I had discussed that with him. So yes, he was there because he moved in. We are co-parenting my kids. And, and living in the same house? Yes. Okay. And that was Did you know that? Us. She she made me aware of it, but that don't mean I like it. Right. Um, if we supposed to be That's having something... That's pretty deep. Yeah, if we supposed to be having something together, and then you want me to be, you know, don't talk to or deal with nobody else. And you got, you got your some... ex in the house with you. That's a lot to swallow, Miss Pettigrew. Oh, oh. Judge, I'm not seeing my ex. Those are my kid's father. So he was down, so I helped him out and let him move in. Rodney being my man, I talked to him and asked him, was it okay? He agreed that it was okay. But for you to say we wasn't serious, you told me you loved me, you gave me a key, but now we're not serious. Okay. Did he give you, did he give you that ring, too? Not at all. No, he did not. Who gave it to you? The new person that wants the me, same, that wants to take same, care of me, the, the person that doesn't same, want to cheat on me. Is the new person the also the ex? Yes. Yes, it is. So how is he new? If he, if how is he new? 
Yeah. The thing is, Judge, Rodney had his time. He's cheated on me with numerous women. Not even the time about the woman in the bed, but the second time was, well, not even the second time, but the second scenario was when I had to go to a party, I went to his job, and I knocked on the door. He wasn't expecting me to come to his job. The door was locked. He came to the door, opened the door, and he looked pretty surprised, but it was a lady sitting in his seat at his station. I was like, why is she here? He said, she's getting her eyebrows done. I looked up she and did. said, look like her eyebrows done already for me. Why is she still here with the door locked? And later on, the lady said that um, I can be cordial. So right then, I knew that here we go. Here's another woman involved, you know? And so I said, Rodney, can we step in the back? What is going on? And he goes to say, well, I can't let her go. She's out of town. I want to make sure she's good. And I'm like, really, Rodney, you doing this to me? You just said you love me. We were just together this morning. So he then he proceeds to put me out the put me out the shop for her. But your ex was still And then he with said, you. I said, so you're telling me, I said, if you're putting me out and you're choosing her, that means we're no longer, we're done. He says, yeah, we're done. Your Mr. Lover, did that happen? Yes, but her ex was still living with her. Right. What it seems to me is a lot of assumptions have been made, but nobody's really had a conversation about the, the status of your relationship. You know what I mean? Okay. What did you think the relationship was? I thought, I'm, I'm thinking it's more than what she said is. She says there's, there's nothing going on between them two. But, her and her ex. Yes, but he lived there. And I asked her if, it, if that was me. Would, would you think anything was going on between, if, if I had someone living, living with me, another female living with me? You'd, you'd have lost your mind. <laughs> Truly enough, right? Judge, but yet still, truly yet, enough, yet I, still. Would not, I would not like that, but I've been open and honest about the situation. If those were his kid's mother, I would have to understand well, that. When did he go from being down on his luck, baby daddy, to the cat who gave you a ring? <laughs> when well, did that, that happen? Was just recently, that was just recently, Judge. He also I just got this ring recently. That wasn't before during this time. He also brought you a car. Is that true? He bought you a car? I had to be in a dependable ride to get around my children, yeah. But he down on his look. Right. <laughs> right. I, 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 I'm feeling you over there, Mr. Lovett. I feel you. I, I'm, I'm right there. I, I, I hear you. I... Good day, Miss Barbara hello, Kelly. Hello, hello, hello. How are you? I'm not doing too great today. Okay. Now, Miss Ke Miss, Miss Kelly, what do you have to say about Wait. this relationship? Ms. Pettigrew, your mother is here. Yes. And she has something she wants to say. So let's, let, let's see Ms. Kelly. Good day, Ms. Barbara hello, Kelly. Hello, hello. How are you? I'm not doing too great today. Okay. Now, Ms. Ke Ms., Ms. Kelly, what do you have to say about well, this relationship? Well, about this relationship, I do not like because he is a cheater and been hurting my daughter for too long. How long has he been hurting her? And he been hurting her, as I know now, it been two years. Two years. It been hurting me a long time. But you know that she's living with her ex, Antoine. What do you I feel about that? I didn't know about that right now. <laughs> what, what I feel about that right now, her ex, who she was with, he is a good man. Uh-huh. He's a very, very good man that I do love. Do, would you prefer that your daughter be with him than him? Yes. <laughs> do you believe that when her ex moved in, Antoine moved in, that they were man romantically involved at the time? No. But you know it's grown to that. Yes. Do you have anything else you'd like to add that you think I need to know about this relationship? Yes. Here? Well, with um, Rodney, He's, it's been a time we've been to the club. Mm -hmm. We was at the club, we was out on the patio, a female jumped out the car. What Actually, you doing at the she club? Was at <laughs> the club. <laughs> I like to get out, shake a little bit, huh? Right. I'm still getting out, shake a little bit, too. Hi. You know, have a good time. Just thought I'd ask. You know, mm. I'm 49, still looking good. Mm. We out there having a good, good time, so the female jumped out the car, acting up. Oh, you know what you did last night. So I'm looking like, um, what did you do? You know, I'm looking. He looking, you know, scary and everything. So he left and went back in the club. So after that, 
So one day, after uh, my, my daughter had her procedure also, he wasn't there like he should be at all, and I didn't like it. So mm -hmm. he had been hurting her so much, and I couldn't take it. So I felt like he wasn't a good man for my daughter at all. Because it hurt me also. Good enough. Thank you very much, Ms. Kelly. You can have a seat right over there. He has told me he don't want me to be with another man, and he's expressing all these things. We're even talking about moving to Florida. So at this point, why would I think that we're just friends and not to mention that key to your house? If you would like your case to be heard on Divorce Court, call us toll-free at 1-877-311-2222 or log on to our website at divorcecourt.com. Miss the show? Watch full episodes on our streaming platforms and for exclusive content, go to Apple TV. So what are you going to do, Ms. Pettigrew? Are you completely done with Mr. Lovett? Do you, have you been honest with him about where your heart is and what you want? Judge, I have been honest, but it's still things that come up with him. Like, we, we're, we're good communicators, but just recently, like, I seen his car out at a hotel with another woman. And so, like, I love him, but every time we come together, we talk about where we are, a woman pop up. And not even that, after, after this picture, I go to his home and I look at his phone because Mr. Lovey can never be honest with me. I am honest. Even though my kid's father does stay with me at that point of time, I am honest. I looked in his phone. He has another app in his phone that he has these women um, texting back and, back and forth, trying to sleep with them. And then, Judge, I have to let it well. <laughs> that he lie about, that he's not no longer sleeping or talking to anyone. What did else? you understand the nature of your relationship to be with Miss Pettigrew? Because I gotta tell you, I'm not quite sure. According to her, we are just friends. And that picture is old. Yeah, I was at the hotel with, with somebody. I'm not gonna lie. But it don't matter when you got somebody laying up in your bed or your house, period. So How were you able to swallow that? Him being at her house, whether I, no matter I, no matter the nature of the relationship, how were you able to deal with he's that? He's been a, he's been around before me. He's been around since me, and he's gonna be around after me. That's the only problem that I have. I do. She have she have done things. She have been with other men besides me and besides him. But but I I out of everything I I, I deal with it because I just as much I love her. Is he accurate in that regard, Ms. Pettigrew? As far as him loving me? No, as far as you dealing with not only your ex, but other dudes while you were with him. Judge, that is false. Mr. Lovey is a good-looking man, but I'm also a good-looking woman. So men, I, I attract a lot of so, men. So you, I didn't see you with someone at the club. You and your mom, they, they're together. I didn't, I, I took off work, I, I got off work You early. be clubbing with your mom, don't <laughs> you? No, no. I mean, I got off work mean. early that night. And she didn't know I was coming. It's a little popular spot that we hang out at. Uh, she didn't know I was coming. So when I walked in, I seen her, you know, all up on the dude, you know, with a yeah. hand, you know, mm -hmm. with a hand all on his neck, and I'm just standing there looking like, for real. Did she ever notice you? No, she didn't notice me until I came and spoke to her mom. Mm -hmm. When I walked up on the stage where they were, I came and spoke to their mom. She just looked at me. She not, she didn't say a word. Period. Do you recall that event? Yes, Your Honor, I do. Did it happen like, like you described like it? Not like that. Not like that. You tell me how it happened. Well, I was at a club, and of course, people do dance, and I was dancing around, and there was another male there, and we were dancing. Rodney did come up, he said hello, and I spoke. That's all it was you did to not it. say anything. Mm -hmm. Did you consider the two of mom. you together at the time? Yes. The reason why I say we have been together, but today we're just friends. This man has told me he wants to marry me. I he has it. met. He has met my children. He has met my father, my mother, and my family. He don't. He he has told me he don't want me to be with another man. And he's expressing all these things. We're even talking about moving to Florida. So at this point, why would I think that we're just friends? And not to mention that key to your house. Okay. That's easy. Don't th well, well, explain to me. Uh, that's, that's easy. <laughs> For one, yes, I, bear, I, I, I met your kids not too long ago. We've been together for three years plus, but I just really started to, they started to be around a little bit, right. a little bit now. She has met my kids. She, didn't, she met my family. 
She didn't been to my family functions, my grandma's birthday, Thanksgiving, uh, whatever, whatever thing that we have going on. She has met all my family. Has he brought in, brought you into the fold that is the Lovett family? As well as I have to my family as well. Yes, his family knows me not as his friend, but as his woman. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thanksgivings, I just spent a Thanksgiving by myself while she was at home cooking for her, her kids and her ex. Did that happen? Mm -hmm. No. Yes, it did. That didn't happen. Yes, good. it did. It, it wasn't like that. Yeah, uh, yes, it's it was. What was like it like? Yeah. It was I, like him being with his ex and then what? trying to come to my house on Thanksgiving. Ooh. Oh. Speaking of ex, uh, she wanted to get back with me. But I had feelings for her. She came to me and said, wait, I want to, you know, reconcile. <laughs> okay. My feelings were for her. I had to tell her, no, I, I, I got feelings for someone else. I can't, I can't do it. It wouldn't be fair to you. But I stayed with her instead of getting back with my, with my ex. Gotcha. But that ain't the same case. You know, she, she let her ex move in. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, You say you want $520 from Mr. Lovett for bond you had to, for getting him out of jail and the, work, the amount of work you missed while you were getting him out of jail. Tell me about that. Well, once again, Mr. Lovett have all these women that he's sleeping with, but again, as a friend I'm supposed to be today, he calling me to bail him out every time he's in trouble. So I do take my time off. How often is that? Oh, it's often. Mr. Lovett, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's not that. Are you in and out of jail a lot? It's been twice. Twice? It, yes, and it's n not for no serious thing. Did she bail you out? She did bail me out, but but Each I told her time. to go to my Each house because she has a key and get my money out of my top drawer <laughs> to put, pay the bail. Pay the bail. And <laughs> and it was a little extra, but I, I also cash up her the rest of it. Did he do all that? Judge, he did give me some money towards it, but it was my money mostly that got him out. Mm -hmm. But also, I did lose wages. That was more than what I had to pay mm -hmm. to get him out. Mm -hmm. Well, that's a decision that you made on your own. And as between the two of whom, you failed the credibility test. Mm -hmm. I believe everything that man said. I think that he loved you. He loved you uh, deeply and grossly, and he put up with a lot of stuff from you. And then, you know... Every once in a while, he did the wrong thing because he wasn't really sure about you. But why do you care? You got a ring from the father of your baby. Why are you annoyed? That was before. This ring is new. This is now. I understand that. So you done with him? Yes, I am. But mm -hmm. I still do love him as a friend. Mm -hmm. If Love him enough to leave him alone. I can do that. Love him enough to leave him alone. Mr. Love it. You are emancipated as of today. Just you are emancipated. You are free. It, you know, Ali Ali oxen free. Everybody's whole home base. It's all good. And and leave it there. I know you still got feelings for, but don't keep going back because you know where it leads, which is nowhere good. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yes, there will be no recovery in this matter. It is so ordered. Judge Lynn, she's kind of dug into a little bit and said, if you love him, leave him alone. Mm -hmm. What's your response to that? And I am. I'm going to leave him alone and go on and be happy. Mm -hmm. All right, is this done done for you now? Yes, it's, it's done. If you get that late night call, you going to be able to pump the brakes or what? Uh, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm going to pump the brakes. Even them, I, I don't want to, but mm -hmm. I will. Okay. All right. Well, good luck to you. Thank you. All right.